Hey y'all. Alright, today we're going to work on a Pen International 20. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Anyhow, so we're going to work on breaking this down and then getting it cleaned up and put it back together. So let's get started. I'm going to remove the handle first so I can get to the rest of the screws here. So I'll remove this set screw. screw removed <clears throat> all right just pull this up should be a washer under here oh, there it is and that's that for the handle now I'm going to loosen all these screws up Remove the right side plate and do the same for the left side plate. Okay, so to remove the right side plate, I'm going to remove the eccentric lever first. these screws up for the quadrant ring you'll notice that these screws are a little bit longer uh, for this side or it should be longer on this side of the quadrant ring than the other side to keep these screws separate just so I know where they are pull that out like that pop out these spacers and now we can pop this off It just pops off, it doesn't screw off, but it has some corrosion on there, so it's just kind of stuck. Okay, so now we can get the rest of these screws unlocked. That just comes up like so. pull this uh, <clears throat> pinion out pop these screws out of here these screws here are for the real foot on the real stand they're going to be shorter than the other screws that go through the post Okay, that's that. Set these to the side. I 
And for the pinion, the clutch springs are on there like this. This is like a flying saucer. There's four of them total. And that's all we have for the pinion. So now I'm going to remove the main gear. The way to do that is to secure the gear itself with the handle and loosen these screws inside here. Now we can push up. Push up and down to remove this. Come on. Let's get it out of there. Just working it out. There we go. Like so. Now the shafts can come through and the gear is out. All right, so to remove these things, simply open it up slightly look for the e-ring and just pop it out here it is right here and this just comes out of one piece there's a spring attached to it same for the other one push down slightly pop the e-ring off That one went flying, so we'll go ahead and grab that in a sec. Stick that back in there so you can see where that came from. Comes out, and the ring. I'm sorry, the spring there. Give me one second, let me grab that E clip that popped out. Typically, what I'll do is I'll aim the, the plate down when I pop those off, so I just shoot down that way is it shooting across or out somewhere give me one second okay found the e-clip now let's get to the rest of this part of the side of the reel to remove the tension knob simply unscrew these screws here This plate comes up and off this comes like so and what you have underneath here is a clip that's securing it you do want to take note that under here is a ring and that that teflon ring goes inside there like so Take it back out. So to remove this clip, I like to raise this up slightly. I'll raise this up slightly. And I kind of work my way around it to where I can get this raised up. pushed off like 
like that. And now this comes and there's a washer on here that you have to take note of as well. And that's that for that portion of it. So now we can go to the the clicker and to remove that we're going to undo that nut there and just be careful with this sometimes the washer under there can be fragile so just gonna back it up. If it wants to cooperate with me. And it doesn't. Let me get a little more powerful tool. should come off now so this consists of a nut a washer on the hair That washer, and that's it. Now we can pop this out, and let's say screw this out. get inside there I don't want to take this off yeah this is just screwed in there and we are going to not damage that Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Just pops straight out just like that. I want to make sure it wasn't screwed in or anything in there. Didn't want to damage it, so. And now it comes like that. So that's the assembly right there. For this part, I do not break this down. There's a screw there where you can kind of work on removing that. I don't break that down. If you need to change this out, just go ahead and replace the entire piece. And now we do the cam, which sits, if I can get it back in there, like that. This just comes out, that comes out as well. There's a washer that's under here. This is a, a thicker or a wider washer. 
going to say thicker washer than the original one that's on the outside of it where the lever sits to remove this what I do is simply screw this all the way up like so it removes the bearing along the way and then you just pop these locating pins out and that's that for the cam now we're done with the right side let's go ahead and pull the spool out and we have the clicker on this side or the click plate on this side the drag on this side this is the older style drag where you have to squeeze this to pull this out. It's gonna be fun. So to move the click plate, simply undo these screws. And now you can remove the plate. Now we take this bearing out. All right, it's stuck in there a little bit. We're gonna get it out, but I'm not gonna bore you with showing you how to pull it out. But when we go to put everything back together, it'll be removed. Let's go to this side. So to remove the drag, <clears throat> excuse me uh, you have to remove this cover and what you're looking for here are some little tabs I'm not sure if you can pick this up or not there's some little tabs there's three of them that you have to pry from under this lip Like so. So here are the three tabs that I was referring to. This comes up like this. And now to remove this plate under these screws and pull it off up it comes like that and let's see if we can get this bearing out. Oh, this one comes out nicely. That's good. It's starting to come out nicely. All right, there we go. It's a tight fit. I'm going to take the uh, pinion gear and bang on this if I can. Just off center it a little bit. As a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just take my screwdriver and do it. That should work. I'm just going to bang on this for a sec. Okay. 
Let's see if that worked. Great. And out that comes. All right, so that's that for the spool, the drag and the click. Let's get this set aside here. We'll pull the left side plate over. Leave these all right here on the mat. So to get the rest of this broken down, we're gonna undo these screws here and pull all this apart. All the screws on these plates are the same size. The screws on the real foot are equivalent to the on the left side or the equivalent to the screws on the real foot on the right side. And same for the posts on the left side versus the right side. Now we can pull these dogs up. Like so. Just prying them up. And these are in the wrong way. Oh. We just flipped on this. Now we can unscrew this to remove the spring. And now to remove the bearing that came up pretty nicely as well set that aside and now we can just finish up with the stand to do that simply remove these wing nuts or whatever nuts you have on there And that's how you break down a uh, pen international 20. We'll get this all cleaned up and come back to you and show you how to put it all back together. And we're back. Let's get this uh, international 20 put back together. Let's start with the left side plate, get the bearing and the dogs put in. First look grease inside here where the bearing sits. Just pop that in. Now we can grease the entire inner plate and then get these dogs put in. Okay, so we'll get these put in first. Let's get our screw and get that set in place. Then we'll just pop it over there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add a little bit of grease to these springs here. I'll do the same for the dogs. Then just rest them in place.
like so. All right, so next let's do the uh, the real stand. The screws will sit where the flat side faces the outside wall. No, let's do the the drag. That's so where the drag is gonna sit is on this plate right here. I'm gonna grease inside here first. And also where the bearing will sit. Get our bearing, get that put in there. And now we can put our drag plate on. Okay, now we get our spring set like that. What I like to do is take the pinion, stick it through there. So we have something resting on it, so we can keep that center. Then take this, take the drag, and just rest it over there like that. And then we can slowly lift that up to Get that set centered. Come on, baby. And then we're just going to push down on it. With this plate here. Now remember, these have three, the, this plate has three tabs on it. And all you're doing is simply trying to get inside the groove. So let me start that over. Make sure we have that centered. And we do. I'm just going to hit one notch inside. Get the other one. Push it in. And the final one, that's not already in, we'll push that in. If that looks like it's in, yep, they're all in. Then we'll double check our work to make sure that it's lined up properly. And it is. So that's good. Now we can go ahead and do the click side. Again, add some grease to here and where the bearing sits as well.
And now we'll add a little bit of grease to the click plate. Just where the clicker will hit. Okay, that looks good. Now we can jump to the right side plate. Let's go ahead and hop back onto this so we can get our bearing in there. And now we can, where's my plate? This is what I'm looking for here. I'm gonna put the, uh, the tension knob in. I'm just looking for the knob. There it is. All right, so the way this sits is, this washer goes on here like that. Through this hole and just push this clip through the slot just making sure it's secure so I'm gonna bend this slightly down so it has some tension to it that's better Let's do our cam. The way the cam sits is just like this. So we're going to grease all around here. Here as well. And we'll grease this as well. I like to grease in here where the the preset knob goes. Okay. We'll set it to the side and then we're going to add our knobs here. And then we'll add our clicker. a little bit of grease, I'm sorry, a little bit of oil on there. Attach the spring. Same for this. And I'm also going to add some grease inside here, sorry, some oil inside here as well. We can take our knob and just stick it through the hole and depress it until we find that groove and pop our e clip on. like that. Same for the other one. And 
and they're both set. Okay. So now we can go ahead and do our clicker. Where is that? Let's get our washer and our nut. I'm going to grease this a little bit. I'm going to add some oil inside there. I'm opening it up. And some in here as well. Now we can set that through. Get that in there like that. That looks about right. Put our washer on and then we'll just secure this. There's a flat surface here and a beveled surface or beveled edge. Flat edge or flat surface will be going down. You have to hold on to this when you're screwing this in because it'll slip on you. If it does, just kind of work it back. get to our cam. I'm going to pop these things in place so that we can get to the uh, to the main gear. The, th the thin washer goes underneath here. I'm sorry, I apologize. The thick washer goes underneath here. The thin one goes on the outside. So you have the thicker washer going there, and just set it in place just like that. We're going to get our bearing, where is that? We're going to get this piece inside by backing it in. it in all the way. Now we can take our locating pins and get those set in the hole before we put the bearing inside. Come on. Push those out so they're flush with the pin, I'm sorry, with the uh, cylinder. And then you can stick your bearing inside. Ah, uh, we popped it out. We just set it in like that. And now we can just drop this into the assembly and that's how it sits we'll put this on afterwards because we're going to get the main gear in and then we'll put the knob on so 
As a matter of fact, I'm going to reverse that and then do the uh, the preset knob. Put that on so we can secure this. But we need our lever on there as well. So we take this washer, make sure it sets flush inside the little groove there. Get our bridge over, and now we can set the tension knob inside the slot. If I can find it. Like so. it there we go now we can secure this so everything kind of stays in place and then we can go to our main gear now that's secure we'll get our pieces for our main gear which would be this, this, where's our shaft, there it is, now we'll get our handles as well, I'll get this all greased up, now we can get our screws for this, so we can lock it in. All right, so the main gear is just gonna sit on here. Before I get to that, I'm gonna grease all the inside here. Okay, so we're gonna take our shaft here, stick this through like so. Drop the gear in place first. Stick our shaft through. And then we can set our plate on top of it and just kind of rotate that to find the screw holes. And we'll get these started, but to lock these down, we may need to put the handle on. Okay, so let's get the handle just set here like this so we can tighten these screws down and then we'll move to the next step. Okay, now that's secure. Okay, so now we can start putting the reel together. Set that to the side, now I'm going to get the pinion gear, and then we'll get that through the spool. Let's grease the pinion gear first. And we'll go ahead and get the groove here greased, as well as this plate. Our pinion gear goes through the goes through the uh, the bearings like that. We'll get our clutch washers attached. I'm gonna lightly grease these as well. And 
and they're going to go on a standard shape of like a flying saucer so it's just a, simply concave to concave stick it through And now we can start getting everything set. I'm going to grease the holes around here. These older reels are older, so we want to try to protect them as long as possible. Try to avoid the uh, Screws get frozen in there. All right, so let's get the uh, stand attached. Just adding some grease to these holes here as well. All right, so let's attach the stand. That's gonna sit just like so. Get our short screws, stick it through. Doing things on camera is kind of funny sometimes. Okay, they're sitting there. I'm missing a screw somewhere, so I'll have to find it. Let's keep moving. All right, so the post will be a here and here, and this bracket will be above there. So let's get our posts in. And we'll do our nameplate as well. And we're not tightening anything down yet. We're just loosely, we're getting them in there, but we're not locking them down yet. Okay, so now we can go back to the right side plate. And we'll get the rest of our pieces. So at this point, we can stick our spool in, because that's all done. I like the muted sound of the, the dog. All right, so we're going to get our quadrant ring on and our knob. The way we do that, well, before we do that, we have to lock a couple screws down up here. Because once we do that, once we get the quarter ring on, we can't access over here somewhere. Let's go ahead and get this set in place and just lock this up. Right there. 
And always make sure your gear is in free spool before you Sorry, hold on. Before you uh start locking this down. Did we do these holes yet? No, we didn't. Get some grease in these holes. Okay. Get one screw going through. We'll get our lug. Stick it on. Stick it through like that. And then we can get this screwed in place. So now we can get the rest of these screws in here and then we'll just do the quarter ring afterwards. Okay, so the rest of the holes are screws that will be used by the quarter ring, which are these three screws left here. We're going to lock these two screws down because we won't be able to access them once we put the ring on. You don't want to raise it up like this. Let me see if I can show this to you. There's a a slightly raised edge on this middle piece. The raised piece will be facing up, not down. If it's down, then it's like that. It's not sitting properly. We'll get this middle screw locked in. And then we'll do the rest of them. Okay, so now I take our spacers, pop those in the hole, and then we can get our knob, get that through, let me go ahead and get these in first. The long screw goes on this side where this full or sunset place will be. And we're not tightening these, these down, we're just putting them in to secure them so that they don't, the quartering doesn't fall out or those spacers don't come out of place. Okay, so we'll take this knob find the groove, lift this slightly, I'm looking for the groove here, lift our lever and simply pop it in place. Let me get this thing set farther down. better pop that in place like that and now it's sitting properly now we can take this part put that on and then put our screw in place and now we can finish up locking down the screws for the quarter ring
Let's get these all tightened. Okay. And now all we have left to do is the handle. I'm going to take some grease, stick it inside this hole right here. Get our washer, stick that on. On with the handle and with the knob or the screw. Tighten that down. Might have gone too far. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it went too far in that. Get our set screw in place. Let's see if we can get this in there on one shot. And that is it. That's how you put together a Pen International 20. And we can just test the reel out, make sure it's working properly. We have it in free spool, so should spin, and it does in gear. This should be wide open, so there wouldn't be a lot of drag on there. All right, let's get the drag engaged. Now we get them a little tougher. All right. Again, that's how you put together a pen International 20. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.